Oh, Shane. Mad, it's isn't it? Bonkers. He's a character I waited so long because I, I did him, I did series eight. I did one episode back I in remember, uh, yeah. series eight uh, with Joan Collins. Funny enough, I spent a couple of days with Dame Joan. And then Darren, who writes, produces, directs it, does the makeup, cooks all the food for everyone, <laughs> asked me to come back on Series 9, but I was filming Red Water with Jesse at the time. Of course. So we couldn't, and, and then get, finally getting a chance to go back and do four episodes, which I think my four start this Wednesday. Fantastic. Oh. This is Sammy Valentino, mm. who is a character. It's quite sad. He is. He's quite a sad character. Yeah, especially over the next four weeks, we yeah. get to see a bit more of his background and, oh dear. and who he is and where he lives. <laughs> That takes me back to when we were working on holiday camp. I hope you I didn't 16. take Joan Collins into that. <laughs> kind of thing. Could you yeah, imagine? Yeah. Dame Joan She'd be horrified. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it was just. I'll tell you what's interesting. There's a couple of uh, episodes, a bit, couple of weeks' time, where we were filming in a bar. And I remember sitting there, we were filming for about six, seven, eight hours. Me and John Chalice, who, who plays Monty Staines. Why are you playing boy scenes? John talks like <laughs> Yes, he does. And uh, we'd, they'd say, right, that's a wrap for the day. And you go, right, where are we going? Well, just stay here. Because we was in a bar. <laughs> so you so don't I even literally have just to pull move. the wig off, take the makeup off, put a pair of shorts on, and just sit there and just. Best drink, job in the world. Drink to the early hours of the morning and then start again. <laughs> best job in the fun. world. It looks it's really, really good, fun. Oh, it is the best fun. And, and listen, you must be the only one who hasn't done the show yet. I would, well, I mean, I've been to Benidorm. I would love to be on my holidays and inadvertently come into the Solari Hotel. If you let them it know. It would be. Because um, you know <laughs> Sherry quite well, don't yes. you? Yes. Just let them she know. She might be able to have a quite yeah, a quiet yeah, word. Yeah, you could be Sammy's love interest. I could. You could. Oh, Sammy! <laughs> oh, sweetheart! <laughs> oh, Sammy found a woman! <laughs> That would be uh, good. It would be very good. And yeah, if I'd it was love going it. to find a yeah. woman, it would be Ooh. a woman like me. So mm. I think that would work gorgeously. Hey. So there you are filming Redwater. Did you bounce right from that to this? Because that goodness yeah. me. Yeah, what was That's I doing? Uh, couldn't be more different, could it? I was doing. I think was I. I think I was touring a play with. No, last year I was touring with um, Laura Whitmore. We were doing a Peter James oh, play. Right, uh, yeah. Not there. I was playing Roy Grace, and from there. Um, I had to. I had to cut the tour short, and someone else took over me, and I went to film in Benidorm and then come back and do the publicity, me and Jesse, for Redwater. Gosh, that must mess with your head. Yes, yeah, so, no, <laughs> two years ago, I did Benidorm. I filmed, that was series eight, and then kept flying between Spain and Ireland, <laughs> being Alfie and Sammy, get them two mixed up. Oh, okay, I love you. Yeah, no, it's wrong character. Um, and then back to, well, I can't remember something. Crazy, like, and crazy, then go crazy. back on tour. Yeah. yeah. Man. And so that was done, Red Watch was done, and it was always just going to be a, a one thing. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was always just, I think, six episodes, beginning, middle and end. Sure. Yeah. And obviously, Jessie's coming back to EastEnders. You know the inevitable. I spoke to her on Monday. We How's it going? She's fine. loving it. Good, yeah, good, good, good. Right. You know, I'm, not, I'm on the left, by the way, in case you're worried. Yeah, you can get mixed up yeah, sometimes. Because you, know, you can get mixed both up. Both my hair died <laughs> to an inch of its life. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go back? You know everybody always asks you that. Are you going to go back to your stage? You're cutting out. I've lost <laughs> Are we live? <laughs> you know, I, at the moment, I have no plans to go back to Albert Square. No. Uh, because John York, who's brought back the Slaters, is another new character that starts. And, listen, uh, I'm down to find... You know, I'm always saying, when I get asked about... I'm no good at saying no comment. No. I always find it rude when journalists sure. will say no comment. So I'm always saying, if I get asked... I love the idea of going back, and then the press say, oh, Shane begs to go back. You know? Right, but and if it, it works, it would have to be something... Yeah, for the right storyline. Yeah, and, of you know, of course, with Jessie going back, we spoke the other day, and she's uh, she's been there a while now, and she goes, oh, I'm missing you being there. And who knows, maybe down the line there might be a story... Who knows? ..for Alfie to go back. But at the moment, there are no plans. No, because you're so busy, That's and you're right. doing those. Now, look, you have been doing this since you were knee-high to a grasshopper. Yeah. The world of entertainment has changed dramatically, hasn't it? People yeah. become if you like, overnight stars. They do mm. through being on reality shows and whatever. How, what advice would you give to anybody that wants to be in the entertainment world now? Because it's hard, it's, isn't it? It's a different it's tougher business. and it is different. Yeah. When I started, I, I toured as, as an actor. I, I, I joined a local theatre group. Uh, and then I, I went and trained in the States. I went to drama school in America, right. came back, and then kind of got sidetracked into doing... You know, game shows. And I, and, I, and I was out of work as an actor, so yeah. I had a stand-up act going. And even my older boys now, Shane and Jake, you know, Jake's success in his band and Shane Jr. has got his own band. Yeah. But and I always say to them, listen, if you want to be an actor and you want a career just an actor and train that, that's fine. But be prepared to sit on your backside for 90 90% of the time yeah. because there's very limited work and so many actors. So I'd say go and learn to sing. Go and learn to dance. Serve your apprenticeship. Yeah, so and, and just try, you know, because... 
the, the word celebrity now, I remember being called a celebrity when I did my first Grain Jill, I think it was, back in 79. Um, and then I did a couple of the old um, them variety shows in yeah. the 80s. I appeared with Russ Abbott and Des O'Connor and then being called a celebrity at 19. It was like a badge of honour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. never. Because it was kind of... It felt like it was based on a talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you get called a celebrity and it feels like a, a dirty word. It does a bit. You're right. You know. Yeah. And, and, when you have a, and when you have fame based on no talent, then I, I think there's only one way it can go. And I've I seen think... them. And you've probably interviewed them and I don't yeah. want to mention names, but... And I see the desperation. <laughs> Let's mention all their names, come on. We haven't got time no. for all of that. Do we take and a Dan's long got a phobia against apples. <laughs> I know, Shane, and we're going to find out. Yeah, what, what was like... it Granny Smith or Cox? Which one you got a phobia against? Which one is it? It's all, all of, them. All of oh, the okay. apples. Shane Ritchie, we will see you in Benidorm. I Wednesday cannot night. wait. It's genius. Thank you, Because it is, it's bittersweet as well, which is what, which is when comedy is gorgeous. When it's funny, but also it's sad. And it is very sad. It's very good. It's very good. Thank you, love. God bless you. Great honey. to see Thank you. you Thank you. you.